nail findings and looking at the systemic conditions where the specific nail findings are found so the systemic conditions so to start off with questions the first question is in case of clubbing what are the causes of this clubbing so not one or two what are 10 causes of clubbing? what are 10 causes of clubbing so next one is where is the buse line seen so buse line where is it seen the next one is in case of the in case of the half and half nail half and half nail what does it signify what does it signify so we'll answer all these questions in this video so the first one being we're going to look at the clubbing So clubbing, this here we see the conditions such as the IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, as well as in case of the lung cancer, we see clubbing. And even in cases of the idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. So idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Then we also see this in case of the complicated tuberculosis next the superative lung disease which includes the lung abscess next in case of the emphysema emphysema then the bronchiostasis bronchiectasis next the cystic fibrosis so in such cases the clubbing can be seen Clubbing can even be seen in case of the cirrhosis as well as in case of the mesothelioma, mesothelioma. Next, even in cases of the congenital heart diseases as well as in cases of the endocarditis. So in all these cases, clubbing can be seen. Next, we move on to the Coilonychia. So, looking at the coilonychia, so here it implies the IDA, that is the iron deficiency anemia. Next, the hemochromatosis as well as the Raynaud's, Raynaud's disease. Next, we look at the condition that is the onycholysis. The onycholysis. So, this is seen in case of the psoriasis. So, it is seen in case of the psoriasis as well as the Reuters, the Reuters syndrome. Next, also seen in cases of the alopecia areata. Then we move on to the Buse line. So the Buse line, it is seen in case of any severe illness that disturbs the nail growth. So any illness which disturbs the nail growth and also in cases of the Raynaud's disease. In cases of the Raynaud's disease, the Pemphigus, Pemphigus, as well as in cases of the trauma. So, in such cases, the Buse line is seen. Next, we move on to the yellow nail. So, yellow nail is seen in cases of the lymph edema. Then, it is also seen in cases of the pleural effusion it is seen in cases of the immunodeficiency next the bronchiectasis then in cases of the sinusitis rheumatoid arthritis the nephrotic syndrome 
in cases of the thyroiditis then in cases of tb and in cases of the raynaud's disease so in such conditions the yellow nail it may be seen next we move card the nail pterygium so where is the nail pterygium seen so the nail pterygium is in case of dorsal so in case of dorsal it is seen in case of the lichen planus and in case of ventral so the ventral it shows the trauma it indicates trauma then the systemic sclerosis next so in dorsal we saw the lichen planus ventral we saw the trauma as well as the systemic sclerosis next there is also the raynaud's phenomenon as well as a lupus erythematous so then we jump on to other findings such as in cases of the teres the teres that is a white nails so the teres of the white nails it is it shows the hepatic failure it shows the hepatic failure next it also shows the cirrhosis then the diabetes mellitus as well as the chf and the hyper thyroidism hyper thyroidism next it also shows the malnutrition the next condition we are going to see is the azure the azure lunula so this is seen in cases of the hepato lenticular hepato lenticular degeneration that is the wilson's disease next we look at the other condition that is the wilson's disease next even in cases of the silver poisoning so in case of silver poisoning as well as in cases of the quinacrine therapy quinacrine therapy so next we look at the half and half nails so half and half nails so where is the half and half nail seen it is very specific to the renal failure so it is seen in case of the renal failure next we look at the mu murex nail so the murex nail murex line so the murex line is very specific to the hypo albuminemia so it's very specific then we look at the mees line what is the mees line so the mees line it signifies the arsenic poisoning so this arsenic poisoning next in case of the hodgkins hodgkins disease as well as the chf then it can also be seen in cases of the leprosy as well as in case of the malaria then chemotherapy the carbon monoxide poisoning as well as the other systemic insults next we look at the dark longitudinal streaks the dark longitudinal streaks so the dark longitudinal streaks it indicates that it can be a melanoma or the benign nevus then it can also indicate the chemical staining chemical stain as well as the normal variant in the normal variant in case of the darkly pigmented people darkly pigmented people 
So then we look at a nail condition known as a splinter, splinter hemorrhage. So splinter hemorrhage it indicates the presence of the subacute, the subacute bacterial endocarditis. Then also the presence of SLE, and even in cases of the rheumatoid arthritis, the antiphospholipid syndrome. In case of the peptic ulcer disease, in cases of malignancy, OCP use, oral contraceptive use, in cases of pregnancy, in cases of the psoriasis, and in cases of the trauma. Then we look at a case of the telangiectasia. So, in cases of telangiectasia, it can include the rheumatoid arthritis, the SLE, as well as the dermatomyositis and the scleroderma. Scleroderma. So, it can include all these conditions. So, now we jump back to our questions. So, the first question we asked was in cases of clubbing so in cases of clubbing what are the associated systemic conditions so the clubbing as we saw it can include the ibd that is inflammatory bowel disease next it can also include the lung cancer then it can include the idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis as well as the complicated tuberculosis then it also indicates the Superative lung disease. Superative lung diseases, that is the lung abscess. Then also the emphyma, the bronchiectasis, bronchiectasis, as well as the cystic fibrosis. Then the clubbing, it also includes the mesothelioma. The mesothelioma, the cirrhosis, as well as the congenital heart diseases and the endocarditis. Then we move on to the next question. So the question two was, where is the Buse line seen? So the Buse line, they are seen in case of any systemic illness, any severe systemic illness and which disturbs the nail growth which disturbs the nail growth so that includes the Raynaud's disease Raynaud's as well as the pempigus so what we saw is the Raynaud's disease as well as in cases of the pemphigus pem figures and next also the trauma so then we move on to the next question the last question we asked was what does half and half so what does the half and half nail suggest so here the half and half nail what it actually suggests is nothing but it suggests the renal failure so half and half nail is nothing but the renal failure.